so considering the uh, effects of uh, prevailing winds and uh, the height of the towers micro sightings of wind turbine is a key technology for wind farms configuration and in, uh, in this uh, techniques uh, in these type of techniques the practical swarm optimization or PSO method is basically used to optimize the uh, placement of uh, windmills or wind turbines in a wind field or a wind uh, park the location of each wind turbine could be uh, adjusted within a cell or uh, in order to maximize the amount of uh, energy that is being uh, generated through that wind turbine so it is uh, improved uh, uh, so that it it can improve its overall efficiency and we can extract more electrical power with respect to the uh, random location of uh, wind turbines in the uh, wind park so uh, considering uh, the effects of the tower height the acquisition cost and the wind speed to arrive uh, that is the uh, arriving in the direction of the placement of the windmill at a specific uh, site the number of uh, size of uh, and sizes of the wind turbines can be uh, calculated for uh, optimum uh, performance the techniques to uh, determine the optical uh, optimum uh, placement of uh, uh, wind turbines in a wind farm thereby takes uh, account uh, into the uh, wind characteristics and the electrical grid constraints so uh, the long term uh, variability of the wind speed uh, uh, using a variable distribution according to the wind direction intervals and uh, the matrices of uh, probability are formulated in order to capture the wind speed characteristics at a specific location so uh, these characteristics can be uh, in different forms like uh, rms uh, wind speed and the theoretical wind speed density of the and the capacity of the factor of the positive uh, wind power plant so these are basically uh, these factors are basically used to determine the feasibility of a wind power plant uh, establishment so now let's uh, discuss about uh, the number of uh, blades uh, and the trade offs associated with the uh, number of uh, blades in a wind turbine so small number of blades uh, rotating quickly like in high speed uh, two blade uh, rotor design or large number of blades which uh, tend to rotate slowly so uh, let's uh, discuss uh, which one is uh, better so few fast uh, spinning blades give economy we have also uh, seen the different designs of uh, wind turbine and we know in uh, by observing those curves that high speed two blade design has the maximum uh, capacity so the fewer fast spinning uh, blades also give uh, economy uh, because uh, because the material consumption in made, making two blades will be uh, less as compared to the uh, uh, three blade or modern uh, three uh, three blade design the modern high tip speed uh, ratio which have two or three blades uh, the the deciding factors are the effect of number of blades on power coefficient the designed t 
PSR tip speed ratio and the methods of limiting yaw rate to uh, in order to reduce the fatigue. The three blade design gives uniform power at balanced uh, gyroscopic uh, forces that are being uh, produced by the vent. The three blade design is uh, followed uh, in EU while uh, United States employs the uh, two blade design units. So adding a blade to two blade design only gives 5% uh, more output for 50% more material requirement that is uh, that the efficiency uh, difference between the two uh, blade design and the three blade design is only 5% however the material cost will be 50% more for the uh, three blade uh, modern uh, design